And welcome back. This is Coattail for round two uh, for this HRE. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to stick around for the whole match. i got to leave here in about an hour, so if it goes over an hour, I will have to cut off extra 55 minutes, but hopefully it won't take that long. Um, starting out here, it is a Cox's push off of uh, South Mountain. we got currently player count of 223 in this Historical Rules event, map 2. 113 for the defending CSA and 110 on the attacking Union. Now the CSA has two batteries here. Looks like uh, Corporal Thomas from the JB with one gun and then um, I believe it's either Gamebot or Exof. I don't know who's commanding it, but one of these two guys is commanding this cannon. Or they're doing it, you know, jointly. But uh, AMV's got the other gun here. Now for their team here, they have the AB, 5th Alabama. Looks like led by Captain uh, Mumos. Then we've got Captain Homer leading the HD. The two core led by Thragon. Thirteenth uh, Georgia under Major Cawthon. We've got Major Cat leading a couple guys from 10th Tennessee. Ninth core led by Uncle Dragon. Let's see, twentieth led by Major Canada. DB led by Lieutenant Denisimo. Then A and V led by Max Fears and Colonel Killer, each leading an element. And since we have no sprinting right now, I've got plenty of time to look at these units here coming up the hill. We've got 5th Corps led by Chris Moto. We've got NYV led by Lieutenant Parker. You've got SB led by Captain Alty. We've got 2 USC led by Captain Eddie. We've got 4th New Jersey led by yeah, Captain Victor. We've got 12th VA led by Porp. Is there anybody else? Did I miss anybody? I don't think I did. If I missed you, I do apologize. I think SR under Mr. Tagre is around here somewhere. So zooming out just to kind of give you a, a lay of the land here. There is Union spawn down the hill. CSA spawns over here. Point is right here, and this is a big valley. And you know, got several kind of intersecting walls here on this point right there. The point is actually quite wide, it goes pretty far. Now, it looks like the CSA has set up uh, fairly even defense, a lot of weight here to this corn area. They have some in the center here, and also some reserve elements here on, isle on the rock islands. Now there's no sprinting until 30, and no bayonets until 30. So I, I would be surprised to see any bayonet or any charges down this hill here, um, because they will get massacred by this concentrated gunfire um, from the CSA. So we'll see what the Union decides to do. They might just shoot it out for a while, or they might try to find another avenue, possibly going down the CSA left. Um, I'm sorry, the Union left, CSA right. Ready. And that already is making itself known here. Yep, so the un Union has opted for some long distance shooting to begin with. I don't know of a better option right now with the uh, rule sets that the, uh, they're working on. I might consider making a move down here as a possibility in trying to draw the CSA into a gunfight and possibly getting them to waste their arty. Um, so I think that might be an option for them, but uh, they've opted for this long-distance shooting for now. We'll see how it works for them. Now, this uh, video has just come onto your stream, and you're wondering where is this? This is a game is called War of Rights. It is a first-person shooter set in the Civil War, specifically the Maryland campaign. And this battle is part of the Battle of South Mountain, actually. It is available uh, via Steam for 30 US dollars. There is a link in the description to the game's website and its Discord if you are interested in uh, learning more about the game. Good job by DB here. 
trying to use some cover and concealment from the uh, the shadows a little bit, doing what they can. Now, this event is a private event. It is called the Historical Rules event. It is played every Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. If you have a unit that's looking for an event at that time, I highly recommend it. There is a link in the description to their Discord to talk to the organizers. Now, uh, you might see a theme developing here. If you're a new player or a new uh, or a veteran player, anybody looking for a, a unit uh, to join to get access to these private events, um, feel free to check out any of these units. I have left links um, to their unit discords. That is how they usually organize uh, new people. You can check out when they play, what their requirements are, if they have any, you know, who's leading, all kinds of those fun things. And uh, you too, if it looks like a good thing, sign up with them and you can uh, participate in these events. Concentrated left of the flag. Steady. Fire! Reload here. Reload here. Then we're going to move. And, uh, of course, if you uh, like this video and you're enjoying what you're watching you want to see more, you can uh, check out, uh, there's a subscribe button on the bottom right hand of your screen um, to subscribe to this channel. I do uh, regular war rights events, both public and private. Uh, every week I try to get in uh, as much as I can. Historical Rules event is one of my regulars on Sundays. Uh, thankfully, I've been able to keep it up quite a bit, um, and I hope to do so in the future. And then, of course, if you're liking the video in particular, you know, the like, subscribe, comments, shares all help me out on the channel. And especially the comments. I, I really like seeing what you guys think of the videos, what you guys think of, thought of the events, too. What you enjoyed about it, what you, you know, would have liked to see more of, what I could improve on, what I could do better, what you guys like of me doing. Um, just, to, you know, that feedback helps me... Uh, you know, continue to improve and give you guys a better product. So I appreciate that feedback very much, as well as just generally growing the channel. And uh, as Mr. Jehovah, uh, another streamer for the uh, War Rice community, says, we all grow together. So more exposure for the videos means more exposure for the units, for the events, for the game. And it's all in a nice symbiotic relationship, hopefully. Wow. Again, we're getting closer to uh, that point here. And the Union, I think, wisely is pressing forward a little bit. Uh, they can stand up a little bit more now that they have these respawns. They don't have to shoot at such a distance. So they can get a little bit closer here so that when they have to, uh, when the charge goes live here at 30 minutes, which is, a, which is a particular thing for this event. It's not part of the game mechanic. It's just something they do as a rule for the event. Uh, sprinting and uh, bayonets go live at 30 minutes. Um, they will be in a better position to attack the CSA. So I think this is a wise decision here by the Union. Aim left to waste, guys. Make sure you're behind the rock. You shouldn't be focusing on the left, guys. Get covered behind the rock, guys. Use your hard cover. These are purple jizz in my uniform. Eh bien, il va continuer. As you can hear, we got multiple languages, multiple different units that uh, speak different languages in this event. It is an EU event, so we've got all kinds, Germans, French, Italian, Spanish, Russian, Czech, Danish, uh, Dutch, even even some even some uh, even some Brits. Get up, gentlemen, and fix this line. Get up. Come on, Sadai. Get up. Get up. And retrace. And SB is going to fall back a little bit, um, I believe, to try to preserve some combat power, especially as more troops kind of move to them. I might disagree with that maneuver. I think they were actually okay over there. But um, you might want it to be in a better position for when the actual charge comes. It may flip over to the other side after dragging the CSA over here. That might be his intent. Mr. Ulti. Who is an artilleryman by trade, so he is very aware of what cannons can do on this map. Yeah, you can see he's redeploying now. So he's, you see how he's shaped the battlefield. He's dragged off all these units here to engage him, but he's already disengaged and he's moving back over here. He might 
join this attack down here where he might take a different angle of the attack. So nice job there by Mr. Ulti. V knows. We're gonna, we're gonna move no time to, to go to the rocks. <laughs> on me, boys, on me, on me. We're going forward, we're going forward. We're going forward. Yeah. It's a rise no more. Comrades, I'm gonna be at the back with the pistol. Hello, come this way, mate. I'm leaving at 12 seconds. Sandy, stay at the arse end of the regiment. You need to be prepared to run if needs be. So they are moving yeah, forward yeah, a little bit more. Right oblique, right oblique, Might be trying to get them as they get their bayonets on. This is a sneaky move here by Mr. Eddie. Usually they wait till the 30-minute uh, mark to put their bayonets on, but Eddie, knowing the rule set, has kind of done a gutsy little raid here and has really pushed the A and V off of this position. Well done by Dad's army over there. Oh God, Dragon got his monsters. And Bayonets are now live, but a great move here by the two USC has gotten the Union into a nice position here. Now 5th Corps and 12th PA have joined them. Already coming in, but a little bit short. Now we've got the hand V over here, the HD and the elements of A and V trying to hold this corner. We'll see if they can do it. Oh, but who came out over here? Look at 9th Corps and 20th Georgia. A great little maneuver jumping out here to get some blanket fire in. Well done to these guys. Aim for the bulk of the number southwest. Look at the rock. Look at the rock. Small red element coming to the big tree. And now, despite all that good maneuvering here, the Union has kind of been stalled, as we can see here. Um, and they are now getting peppered and kind of stuck into this position. Now we do have a forward attack here by Ulti and the SB. Let's see if they can make a difference here. And they are going to charge down the hill towards Denisimo and his men. And Denisimo wisely gets his men out of there. But SB has now taken this corner. And that will take some pressure off of this forward element here. I need to get that flag up, though. Don't leave it. And here comes Chris Moto joining in with the attack. That's what needs to happen. You need to send in as much as you can to aid it. But the Union might have been a little bit too beat up to actually take this corner. Against the hand B is a little bit too much. That is being held back. Oh, kurva. Yeah. And that attack has been easily defeated by the Han V and friends. And now this element here is very vulnerable to being wiped out. In fact, I would say this position is no longer feasible. They would. I would recommend them maybe pulling back right now. There's a dead flag for the Union out there in the center. You do have Victor out here on these rocks providing some covering fire, but these guys are going to catch hell here from the already and the infantry. In fact, let me take a look and see what the infantry is doing. And a lot of the CSA is not even committed right now. CSA does have an eight-man imbalance, so... Oh, yeah. 
Now, I think the CSA is making a mistake of not getting rid of that element there before those reinforcements get up there. But now we've got Major Cawthon who's maneuvering up a little bit here, trying to get a better firing solution on these guys, a better angle on them. Uh, who do I got? Who do I got? Coyote, that watch on the right. If you see uh, part numbers, I want everybody back to that. Uh, Good guidance here from 13th Georgia giving uh, guidance to his unit. So if he goes down, they still understand what the standing orders are and they will be able to execute it. That is a sign of a competent leader right there. Give guidance. Clear guidance of your intent and your subordinates if they are uh, competent and empowered, they will execute it. But if they're not uh, competent, why are they your subordinates? And Killer is moving forward here and he's going to be able to catch a lot of the Union as they try to maneuver off this wall in the open here. And again, they got a flag down. That is a problem, and you got this flanking fire by 13th. These units here, frankly, I would say need to move up. Maybe leave the Nisimo down there, but this unit over here is, I would say, not really HD. I would kind of surprise you're over here. Oh my, I'm surprised you're not with Killer and his guys. Um, interesting. Now the Union is going to try to infiltrate down here on the Chris Moto, but he has been spotted here by Major Cat as, as well as Captain Dragon from Two Corps. And they are going to quickly attack to make sure they can't get a breach at here. Come on, boys! Face the judgment of the Lord and Slaver! No mercy for slavers, the human race! And you can see a complete success for our two core and the 10th Tennessee. Well, we've got SB trying to find a flank over here. I would commit more forces to this flank, to be honest with you. I know it can be a bit of an arty uh, suck here, but uh, if you spread out enough, you know, and kind of get the arty to waste their shots, I think it's actually a decent position. And it's easier to hold now with the flag respawns, but uh, if it doesn't have enough force behind it, and you can see how the Nisimo, we zoom out here, how they're kind of in a kill box right now between HD there and Denisimo's uh, DB right here, the second Mississippi. They are in a lot of trouble right there. Now, there is some good covering fire from the top of the hill, but I think they're actually engaging this element down here. And in fact, here we got Denisimo has gotten his men over the over the little hump here. And you can see these great shots that are coming in. Look how many of their guys are going down right now. That's HD shooting as well, by the way, not just Denisimo's guys. Yep. So again, yeah, if you're looking for a unit and you see one of these guys, you're like, man, these guys are pretty on it. Uh, check out their discords, man. They play in a lot of different events. If those are events work for you and they look like, you know, it might be a fun time, sign up with them, man. Some of these regiments um, are only in a couple events due to times. Some Rebel have Rebel both uh, EU Rebel and NA uh, times. Uh, some also regularly play uh, pubs as a group as well. So depending on what you want to play and how you want to play, you can often find what you're looking for with these guys. Good job by the two USC waiting to shoot until they got close right in their face. That's what you want to do. You want to maximize the power of that volley. So, nice attack here. You see how effective that attack by Eddie was, even though he didn't have a lot of men, but he needs help here to carry it through. But here comes Victor and here comes Parker for that help. Oh, but it, Denisimo's coming in to help as well, as is Uncle Dragon, who's had his monster, and Captain Thrago on from 2 Corps. 
Vive la France. Vive la Liberté. Oh, here comes two fifth corps, though, coming behind. If they can sweep up behind, they might be in a decent position, but it might have been a little bit too late. Yeah, I think it was too late. Now the CSA is going to be able to defeat them in detail. Oh, well, they're going to try to carry the attack forward. You can see how far behind they are on tickets. So that was just a little bit mistimed. And even though it was a decent attack, it will not be enough to take this position here. And the Union is almost a full morale state behind the CSA. Off the second chest. Must independent first. Shattered, sir. We must fucking run, sir. Keep firing, keep firing. Yes, sir. Yeah, what happened? Good serpentine by this gen. Don't run in a straight line. Get the flag up. He got, he got killed, but he... No, no, he's still alive. He did it. Sonny Crockett did it. See, uh, he's the second cousin of Davy Crockett. He's the, um, you know, the Baron of the um, Trans Mississippi. I don't know. We are dead. So Ulti is gonna move forward, possibly to take these rocks here. I don't oppose this move here, but he is facing 13th Georgia in an entrenched position. Not entrenched, but he's behind decent cover here. And he's got to cross an open field, so dead. that is not easy to do. Thank you for running in the open, brothers. No. Get this boy. And despite that, look who won. You see, it's the Union team, the SP, had a flag there. And Ulti has now captured that position despite a very strong hold there by 13th Georgia. And Major Gawthon, so well done to the SP. We'll see what they could do with this position here. Again, I think they don't have... I, I, I still argue more needs to be weighted towards this flank here. I think you could have more success than you will down there. Because the point extends all the way out here. People don't realize it. It, it goes really far out. I think it ends at this tree, but it, it's it's extremely wide. So you don't have to be over there on that corner. And you don't even have to be over here to take the point. You can be all the way over here. They're in the open. There's a gunner on the line. The Union is now at taking losses, so well behind. CSA doing a great job of killing time. Only 18 minutes left, and they are have only barely been hit on engaged. Octave, ça va à gauche, Octave, revient à gauche. Monsieur, bon, Killer, that is the 13th Georgia there to the west northwest. Yeah, boys, hope we lose, we run away. Yeah. Hold this stone wall in your left, boys. Hold this stone wall in your left. Stay here, stay here, stay here to put a fire. Don't come to you, Johnny. Have a 
Come at me, Johnny. Come over here. I'll give you help. Oh, it's not don't go over, don't go over, hold, hold. Shut, shut, shut. There's Brigada in the end, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's Brigada, there's Brigada. There's all the Hey, killer, we have, we have enemies on the right. Now it's the west, the west, the west, the west. Yeah, I don't have very many here, boys. Agro my linea. And they opt for charge, which I think is the right decision here. There's no point in letting them have this uh, little foothold. If you can knock out these two flags, they got to come all the way from back at main. And you have the tickets to spend, so there's no reason not to charge this out. So I think that was the right decision there by the CSA. In fact, I don't know why Moore's not going. Again, just wipe it out. You want to you catch the flags is what you want to do. You don't want to let these flags escape like they're doing. That happens when you overwhelm them. Not when you go in with this little... Uh... Oh, Carry it forward. As far as you can go. Well, now it's too late. You let three flags get away. So... That is unfortunate. Well, we got another charge developing down here. Searching Georgia is once more fighting against the SB. Although HD Captain Homer is with them as well. And they've got a flag this time, so that changes the equation quite a bit. Oh, Ninth Corps is in here. I heard Odin. Good job. And that is a victory for the CSA. HD. Goodbye. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Ooh, you missed me. You missed me. Nice. Goodbye, nice, nice. Oh, what time is it? Do I have time? Oh, it's cutting it close. Oh, Lord. We'll see. So now I might as well take the opportunity to talk about some of these units here while I'm waiting for the last of them. So 9th Corps, for example, here, um, you know, they don't have too many men on this one, but they are a pretty sizable regiment. Um, both They play on both the NA side and the uh, EU side quite often in a lot of events. Um, I've seen them on... Um, for example, I see them on HDC on Saturdays at 8 p.m. GMT. They're at uh, this event, obviously on Sundays. Um, I believe they're part of GC, the Grand Campaign. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe they're part of the GC on Saturdays at uh, 8 p.m. GMT um, as well. Um, I see them around pretty regularly. They have a pretty robust um, community. Um, Dragon actually has his own channel. Um, and he regularly covers um, Spectate's events as well with several of his guys, kind of focusing on Ninth Corps. I highly recommend you check out his stuff. Um, but uh, they are a pretty robust union element. Uh, and then depending on the, the nice thing about them is they play at a lot of events. Um, so there's a lot of ability to uh, kind of see different personalities in different events. On the wall, independent. Now here we got Eddie and his men here coming up. Uh, they are. They have probably uh, a little bit of favoritism, but they have probably some of the uh, most uh, characters, I will say, in any uh, unit. So they do, they are a cav unit. They like doing skirmishing. They like doing uh, cav maneuvers here. Even though Eddie's the only man left here right now, he got a little bit out ahead, but uh, he still stands. Even without his division, Eddie comes down here. But so if you like kind of cav and skirmishy fighting, Eddie is a great guy to join up with the two USC. 
Um, I've seen them mostly on EU events. Um, Saturday they play UEC at um, APM uh, GMT as well as uh, this one. Uh, it's 7 p.m. GMT today for the HRE. I'm not sure what other events they're playing, but they, uh, you can find them right go there. Um, I've actually known Eddie since 2019. I was briefly in his unit, um, so I've known him for quite a long time. And his guys are always up for it. If you're looking for a pretty chill group of people um, that like talking shit to each other, uh, he, he's, he's a great one to uh, be with. Looks like the Union is preparing to mass up here. Now on the CSA side, I've talk, mentioned them a couple of times, but A and V, you know, they've actually got a couple elements down here. You've got the 6 Alabama here under Max Fears and also Colonel Killer um, from the 10th Alabama. Um, they often join up with HD as well, Hood's Division, uh, in what's called the Hand V. Um, they can be a pretty, not only a dynamic force, but a force with a lot of people. Uh, he plays, they play in a lot of different events, uh, both EU and NA. Um, so, he, again, you will find a lot of opportunities to play with both AEV and HD, uh, both RD as well as infantry. And actually, A and V runs, Killer runs the grand campaign on Saturdays at, AP, at um, APM GMT. And speaking of, A and V is going to try to get out of there. But yeah, A and V, if you want to be in a really, uh, you know, a big line, but still a pretty dynamic line, and a lot of variety of events and types of events to play. Um, a and B is there to, uh, I think A and V and HD are both a great option. Like, for example, here's XOF and GameBot are also on the RD as well. So a lot of different options for what kind of gameplay you want to play. You better get up, boo. I would do everybody, uh, but I, 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 at some point I'll get to everybody. So. You know, I'm going to start trying to give a little bit more unit previews as we go. So if I didn't catch you today, I prom I will do my best to catch everybody as time goes on. Take up, take up flags, we need to, we don't respawn. Shift right, shift. Spread it out, fifth core. If you're up, spread it out. Run around and cross the length of the line with the flag. See, this I would have done a lot sooner. Now, you saw the already was a pretty powerful shot there. But even here, now what they have done, it seems like it was mostly a distraction force. Now, you've had had 12th VA getting in behind. Uh, but now there's also a small element of 9th Corps, which has dragged off Eddie and his boys here as a distraction. So good job here by the 9th Corps. And then you have, who is this down here? SB over here. The problem is right now they're not really making any moves to take advantage of the sacrifice of those units over there. I mean, you've got 12th VA moving back here to get some possible shots. But, you know, if the move was to take this corner, that, that door is kind of closed. You know, these guys here are now kind of isolated. Uh, you know, they got them down to taking losses, but, um, you know, the play is to take point. As you can see, the Union is taking point. I would mass more over here. Because they are going to take increasing fire. You have dragged off a decent amount over here, but, you know, once the CSA realizes they can fight you in detail, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, but, on the other hand, you know, the Union is doing a good job of holding their ground here in the center. If these elements here can keep the CSA bottled up on this corner, um, you know, at least you force the CSA to fight you on point. And make them fight you in the open, which again, I think is probably the better option of quite some time. I, my only criticism right now is I should have tried to pull a move like this out earlier. They say let them cap, and that's fine. Um, they might try to get them down. To, yeah, that's their plan. They'll let them go down to the last stand, which is, uh, which is a dangerous option. But as long as the Union is uh, careful with his casualties, they might be all right. And that means staying together, meaning not getting isolated, not getting overwhelmed. Um, and again, I would probably rotate. So, like, maneuvers like this by 12th VA, a, a distraction element, but... You're losing a lot of tickets doing a maneuver like that, to be honest with you. Now the counterattack timer is on. Six minutes, 45 seconds. So, yeah, here comes Ulti. I, I, again, I disagree with this. You do not 
at this point, you're on defense. If you get yourself wiped here, trying to impale yourself on this corner, that is a waste of a lot of manpower. I very much disagree with this attack right now. This is the kind of moves that will get you down to the last stand. I agree with the, whoever said let him come. That is the one. And V knows. And V knows. Look at what they just did. They just melted that. No damage. And look how much tickets they've lost. And now you've got Eddie coming down. Again, isolated. Not together. Now they're going to get impaled against this wall here. And their flag's going to get knocked down. And once that's done, all these troops here can go and knock that out without any trouble. And get you onto last stand. So, um... I like the Union idea, but this execution is not ideal. You, There was no way that you were going to be able to take this. Yep, Canada and all these other guys, they know. They're going to wipe out these units here for good tickets. Skirmishing and out-of-line tickets and knock out those flags. And they've knocked them out. In fact, we got a unit redeploying up here. Who is this? 12 VA is redeploying up here and no longer supporting on the point. And you still got 5th Corps on this position here. And you've got Victor down here with Parker and his boys. But the problem is now the CSA has plenty of time. They could sweep up and swing down and crush you. Because look at where the Union's got to spawn. they got to take several minutes to get back here. And even when they do, they don't have their flags. Now this attack by the CSA, I think, was mistimed here. by uh, looks like by 2 Corps. I think they made a mistake of trying to knock out this 5th Corps element. And now they've knocked down a couple flags, so that might uh, come to their advantage. But oh, here it comes. Yep, Hanvey knows. They're not even going to bother with 12th VA. You don't really need to. You just need to wipe this out here. Now, I would say the CSA, I would recommend the CSA getting off a point, wiping this, and hopefully getting them to last stand, then recap, then they win the game. Uh, but we'll see if they pull that off here. So, the CSA attack, I, I disagree with this. They've kind of, um, I love 10 Tennessee, but I don't think they should be sitting here shooting. I think they should be getting into the charge and making sure they win it. But uh, then again, you got to knock down these flags. Look at that. Two flags. The Union held that charge. And then not yet on last stand. Although this next one, we'll see if this attack does it. This might be just enough. Maybe uh, Tennessee was right to hold it, but I still would have made sure this was won. Yeah, it looks like that attack might have been able to overwhelm them. Press T, guys. Press T. Press T. 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 Oh, who's attacking down here? Oh, that was very foolish here. Well, the Union was put on to final push, so just barely, but whoever ordered that attack, that was a waste of tickets and now got him down to final push unnecessarily. They were lucky that didn't put him on to last stand. That would have been a second away from it, but that was a mistake by those 12 FA guys, in my opinion. Now, at this point, you're just kind of going in. It doesn't matter anymore. There's no way the Union, the spread out, is going to be able to take this point. Uh, you can shoot here in volley, it's fine. I mean, if you charge, you're going to get killed anyway, so you might as well volley and try to wait for some reinforcements. A little bit short on that fuse time by the uh, by that already shot. Good shooting by the SB. Well, you see, they're now taking fire from over here. Fire, and Ulti's going to get him out of there. Yeah, this all you can do right now is die. You might as well move back here, consolidate for one final push, and go in together. So I think that is the proper move for Mr. Ulti there. 
So it looks like Killer's expecting an attack on this side here, and I think he's right. The reason I say I think he's right is if the uni wants to hold, they need to pick those flags up in any attack, so um now the problem is you got one unit going over here, which 12th BA is heading over there. You're never going to get in there in time for the fight, so that, that flank attack is useless at this point. And then, in fact, I would argue this union attack is way too spread out. Yeah, some guys kind of going over there and then setting. This should have gone in as one big mass. But because it's spread out, you're going to let the CSA kind of get a position. What you need to do, your objective right now, should be to charge through here and get those flags. And then force your way in. So you had that gentleman there did the right thing. It wasn't quite enough, though. It went in a little bit too shallow. And they were not able to get the other flags up. So they're just going to impale themselves against this wall here. And there's 12th VA. And there's a complete victory by the CSA. And that is it. Um... Don't really have any final thoughts. Uh, good defense there by the CSA. Um, kind of same as I did last map, to be honest with you. Um, I thought the strategy for the Union at the end was working much better than the earlier strategy. But uh, Concentrated attacks. Can't go in piecemeal. Can't get defeated in detail. That is more true than ever. Anyway, that's all I got. Again, I hope you all uh, that celebrate have a happy Easter. Um, I'll be uh, back to regular scheduled programming this week. Um, so I'll probably do at least one live stream, either Tuesday or Wednesday, or both if I have time, but I doubt I'll have time for both. But um, again, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what I can improve on and uh, try to make the stream better for you guys. And um, that's all for now. Have a good one.